Hello, hello, I am Heather, AKA Planner Mumsy. If you would like to see a currently inked video and a couple of new things, then stay tuned. So I thought I would come on here and do a currently inked video as well as open up the first three days of my Inkvent calendar, my Diamine Inkvent calendar. I have been so busy, I haven't opened any and it's already December 3rd. <laughs> so I thought I would open this up with y'all and we would swatch out those inks that come in this cute little calendar together, as well as showing you guys something new. Um, I'm gonna save that for the end just so that we can look at that all together. These are my currently inked pens and I actually have to get a couple more out of my pen roll that stays in my um, little journal bag and this is a rickshaw pen roll in case you guys have not seen my video where I discuss it. Here's the reality. I have a lot of currently inked pens right now and I am not going to be able to remember each and every ink that I have for all of them but I will do my best. Let's get right to it. Okay one thing that I do try to do with my currently inked pens is a lot of times what I will I will just go ahead and write in this little book. I have just a B6 Galen leather um, folio on dyed book. You can see I've already got an ink on it. It has um, patinaed some, so it looks kind of like a little dirty. It's not dirty, that's just patina. It's actually from rubbing up against other notebooks because it's usually kind of crammed in between. Well, I am just letting this girl get what she gets. Grungy, dirty, icky. I've actually even considered putting like more ink on it just because I think that the ink that fell on there by accident is really cool. <laughs> what I did ahead of time was I kind of, and I do this frequently with my currently inked pens, and it's just sort of a time for me to uh, play, I guess, maybe with my pens and, and if I don't have anything to write, it just allows me to write with my pens and um, make sure that the ink is flowing. And if the ink flows really well, I just put a little asterisk next to it. And that just kind of helps me know in the future what pens I want to ink up. But, um, and if, if it comes out slow or is a slow start, I just kind of write slow. I wrote slow-ish <laughs> on that one. Let's go ahead. And so the very first one that I had started with was this Pastel PM. This was done for me by um, Wood Wonders of North Carolina, Charlie Harvey. You can find him on Instagram. But his pens are gorgeous and he did this super cute little butterfly pen roll for me, which I love. And so what I thought I would do is literally just kind of write a squiggly next to the original one that I wrote. This one is... Pretty much all of my pens you are going to find are going to be in a broad. I want to say that this is the Kyoku, the, the Sailor Kyoku, because I believe that it changes from like a purpley to a green. I paused it real quick to try and figure out what this ink was and realized I don't know what it is, but 
I thought maybe it was the um, Shikiori Koyoku, but it has more pink properties than it has purplish. So don't think that that's it. We're gonna just go ahead and move on to the next pen, but you can see how pretty that one is by Woodshed Pens. So then the next one you can see I've already written down is the Oprex Sailor. Um, it's, it, sorry, it's the Oprex Pen. This is also, was also made for me by Charlie at, uh, Wood Wonders of North Carolina and this one he put this like really cute blinged out flower for me which I think is adorable because obviously it matches the beautiful pink pen. I have one of my currently current favorite inks in here and my current favorite ink you're gonna see in a number of my pens is um, the Sailor Shikiori Yozakura. I kind of wrote that already and you can see just how darn pretty that color is. It's so pretty. It's just like a light magenta. Y'all, the Oprex pens are just incredible. They, it's almost like they're on fire. <laughs> it's hard to really describe, but just so beautiful. I will say these pens are very, very pricey. In general, you're not gonna get into a custom for less than 350 because the blanks for these are really expensive, but beautiful, beautiful pen. The next one we are going to go to, this is a tailored pen. This is a custom blank. You can see a prior video that I do on it, but this is a custom color of my own and we call it lavender. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and write lavender sparkle. Pen. And again, it's in a broad that this is the Sailor Kyoku ink, which is another one of my favorites. It is a very wet writer, um, a very wet kind of ink, but it dries pretty quickly. And those are generally things that I find I really enjoy. Sailor inks seem to be some of my favorite right now, but that is the lavender, so pretty. We'll jump right to the next sparkle pen that I got from Tailored Pen Company. And again, this is another custom. This one is a Dusty Rose Sparkle. And we will write that. Love it. And this ink is Blushing Mushroom by Ferris Wheel Press. So I really do like this one as well. Um, blushing, I'll write it down here, mushroom. The only thing that I don't like about this particular ink is that the bottle head is so small, it's hard to ink your pens up. But other than that, this is definitely, I just, I love, it has some purple qualities to it, but it's also kind of almost gray can see that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm actually gonna zoom out just a wee so you can see what I'm writing a little bit better. Okay, then another, like this is certainly in my favorites category right now. This is a collaboration with the Taylor Company Taylor Pen Company um, with their TPC blanks, mica finds, and endless pens. And this one is scrumptious. And this is a Leonardo, Leonardo pen. When it starts, I'm gonna just say slow, 
just so that I can kind of keep track of it. Um, and this is the orange zest, orange zest by Robert Oster. It's definitely a very amber like color. Very pretty. Love it. Love it. Okay. Then the Tominori Studio. This one is in a nib that I don't like. Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose. So it has, it's a very fine, I think it's fine. I, I don't think it's a extra fine, but I believe it's a fine nib, which I am not a fan of and I need to just get a new nib, but I've been lazy. Uh, so, <laughs> well, uh, Ferris Wheel Press. Lady Rose and writes pretty nice. Like even for a yucky fine nib, I think they're yucky. I know that plenty of y'all absolutely adore fine nibs. I just like mine fat and juicy. It's an analog, I was right. Analog. And again, this has got the Sailor Yozakura in it. And you can see how it is such a different color here. But I wrote, I'm pretty sure that I wrote that it was the same. Yep. So it just sometimes the, um, the Shikiori comes out much darker. Yozakura. And this is analog pens and TPC blank. Sweet. I don't know if it's Kiara or Ciara, I'm not sure, but that's the name of the color. And that one is super, super pretty. You can find these on Analog Pen's Instagram page. Then we have my very first Estabrook. This is an Ebonite in the Blackberry color with the broad nib. And I haven't written with this one for a little bit, so let's just see if it goes right off. And it did. Estabrook. This is in the Glimmering Grage, Esterbrook, I was gonna say Blackberry. Esty. And this is Ferris Wheel Press, Glimmering Grage. Love this ink. Super, super shimmery though. So you really need a super fat, and let me just show that one. It kind of looks black in the light, but if you get close, there it goes. You can see all the purple variations there. Super pretty. Let's look at this ink up close just because it is so cool. See that glimmer? So you really, you do kind of need a fat writer in order to do those super shimmery inks or else it's just gonna clog up your feed nib and it's not gonna start. This is a pen, I love the pen, but I already ruined it. It's totally my own fault. Should not have used this ink not knowing that it would stain, and as you can see, it stained the bottom of the pen, and I'm pretty bummed out about it. <sighs> Hope Pink. This is, and so I'm, ooh, camera. Um, <laughs> like, where am I? You can see how it is, a, It's and you'll see when I write with it, it's a very bright pink ink really stupid of me. I did like the full dip into the 
into the thing and knowing that this is a light color I should not have done that it's totally my fault it's of no fault of the pen maker whatsoever I did I spent half an hour trying to get this ink off of this pen and clear clearly the diamine inks which I'm also not very used to some of them stain very easily and you are not gonna get it out I kind of look like I have a pink um, end to my pen and I know that it's not supposed to be like that so it kind of bugs me but for people that would be like oh you have a pink end that's cool yeah oh well this one's been a hard starter so let's just see it it isn't this time it started right out that's great you can see how bright that color is it's super pretty the ink is gorgeous Again, it's not even the ink's fault. It's just me being stupid. I should not have inked the pen the way I did with such a bright color. Um, Diamine Hope Pink. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I mean, that's just so pretty. And the pen started right up. Then I have my Mayfair Eowyn from Mayfair Pens. And I don't know what this ink is, but I know that this one writes like butter. Mayfair pen. Ooh, it's hard starting. There we go. Not hard starting. It was just skipping. But that was kind of my fault because I wasn't really applying a lot of pressure. Flaming Blue by Robert Oster. Robert Oster Flaming blue okay this video is disgustingly long <laughs> sorry about that i'll probably have to chop it up and this is um a, another analog pen oops and i love 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 this pen it's absolutely gorgeous and i don't know what he calls it but i believe i have blushing mushroom in this one as well writes beautifully love it love it love it just trying to speed up since i'm taking so long to do my video and this one i've been using a lot lately and i'm already halfway down on the ink because oh this pen writes like a dream i love it so this is another uh, Charlie Harvey from uh, Wood Wonders of North Carolina. This one just writes so good. Y'all. Oh, so beautiful. And it's just, this is, this is like, he calls this a hybrid cloud. And he also did like the purple section. I'm thinking it's the amethyst because I know I used a bottle and that's the only purple that I have yes and um it's a J urban I believe love it love it love it this one writes like a dream I've been using it a lot because it just it's such a good writer then this is a um Jin Hao I got the as a three pack off of off of Etsy because I was told that it was like a sort of like a Mont Blanc knockoff and this little bugger I've had some Jin Hao Jin Hao was actually my very first fountain pen FYI and um I hated it <laughs> I'm just gonna say burgundy because I I don't remember what it was called. I would have to I'll link it in Etsy. Um, link the Etsy shop below in my description. But this one is in Rainy Day by Colorverse. Let's just write that rainy. This one writes really well despite the fact that it has a medium fine nib um it is smooth like butter it does have a, the teensiest bit of feedback but y'all i mean 
for, I want to say I got a three pack of pens for like 30 bucks. This is an awesome deal for a really good writer. Um, I've not had any issues with it whatsoever. And it came in burgundy, black, and navy blue. This is my Candy Nougat by Little Pen Designs, I believe. And I will link him below. Candy Nougat. And this one has never failed in writing. For Kyoku in it. Then I have my Ferris wheel press and I like this one as well. I didn't like it at first, but it's grown on me. So I may get another one at some point. This is a brush pen and big surprise. It has Sailor Yozakura in there. <laughs> big surprise but just one of my favorite colors right now. Then I have this beautiful sparkly pen. This is Norwal. Um, that's what it was when I purchased it. Now it's like Novelore. Again, Yozakura. <laughs> I have not written with this one for a while. Let's get y'all in frame. And it wrote right off the bat, Narwhal has Sailor Yozakura. This is actually helping me because then I know what inks that I had in there. But super sparkly, super pretty. And again, I'm just, I haven't said the nibs because pretty much almost all my nibs are either medium or broads. This one is from, this is my original pen that I got from Charlie Harvey. And this is, he called it like Easter egg or something like that, that blank. But I, I, I bought it right around Easter time. And then I just fell in love with his work. He really has some pretty, he does, makes some pretty pens. Wood Wonders of North Carolina. This ink. Mango Moose ink. And that is just like a sample that I had. I haven't shown. This is a limited edition Pilot Decimo. I could only get it in a fine nib because a lot of their limited editions are like that. I got this pen specifically to match my Mulberry Pilot Decimo. This is a new ink that I got. Ink Studio 1-6 Sailor Ink 1-6-2. So you see it's super fine. Not really something that I usually write with, but it is working out great. Really get that. You can just see and it's just gold and then the, the nib itself is gold. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now, finally, um, one of my new pens. I just wanted to show you guys this. I don't have this one inked currently yet. We are done with the currently inked pens. This beautiful pen that I got from River City Pen Company. And this is a Mackenzie Blank. And I believe that it's called Lavender. And he gave me a card, so I'm gonna just show that, I'm trying to one-handedly get it out. Um, this is it right here. Lavender Rose Diamond Cast. He put a Bach nib on there for me and I got a broad per my usual. But look how pretty and sparkly. And it's like 
a super light lavender and it's kind of um you can see through it there and then on the ends he did a contrasting and he did an operex i believe this one is called like a cherry and it just i can't wait to ink it up i haven't done it yet but i have to be careful because it is light so i want to make sure that I'm picking an ink that I know will not stain this pen. So I don't want to do it in the video because I don't want to ruin it by accident. <laughs> okay. Now, speaking of his stuff, one of the things that he does as well is he makes these nib holders for um, the Kakamori nibs and they have both the brass and the sterling silver and you just basically pop them in the ends as such. So we're going to use this when we open our ink vent. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the third. So we're going to open up number one first. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I had to pry it out, <laughs> but this is the little ink that came and it's called bliss so that's number one and d3 Ooh, you'll log all right i grabbed scissors i can pry it out with this there we go okay Yule Log. Oh, I'm excited to try these. Okay, and then number three, where are we? Right there, number three, because today is December 3rd. And Solar Storm. Cool. All right, I'm so excited. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna set this aside because we've only gotten through three days, but these are the little ink bottles oh my gosh aren't they so cute Rawr! okay i had to pause the video and come back because those little buggers were really hard to get into let's open them up and try them out and see what we think Ooh, it's like a teal that is super pretty all right anybody here my son outside in the background. I'm not sure how loud that is to the camera, but so this is diamine. Bliss. Ooh, that's so pretty you guys. Oh my goodness. Let me zoom you in so you can see it better. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is going to be fun. But their inks definitely um, are very pigmented, so they are very bright, which is nice. They're a gorgeous ink, but I'm definitely going to have to be careful inking them. That's just kind of a heads up. So that's the first day. The second day was Yule Log. So we're going to open this. And it's like a brown. I'm excited about a brown because I mostly only have like greens and blues and purples. Green. Ooh, it's wet. I ha I did have my thing angled. Yule log. And ooh, that's so pretty. I don't have any inks like that at all. I have something new to try. All right. And then finally, we have Solar Storm. I'm thinking it's going to be a bluish color. So maybe even purple. Well, it looks like it has kind of blue and purple. Let's check this one out. Diamine. Solar storm. Ooh, interesting. It's kind of, it's definitely a purple. It has like 
purple to it. I'm trying to get it so it's not so heavy. You can kind of see the color. You can see the purple there a little bit better. That's really pretty. Like it, like it, like it. And I just use the microfiber to clear off the nib. And that wraps up this really long video. <laughs> Hopefully you guys stuck it out with me. But those are the inks that are in the ink event calendar and all of my pens that I have currently inked at the time. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below, like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.